Hey folks, I'm Shane Ballou, contributor here on the Inside Line. Hey, one of my favorite baits in the whole Yamamoto catalog is this little four and a half inch flapping hog. Now everybody knows this bait's really suited for flipping and pitching into shallow cover, but I also like to drag it behind a Carolina rig, and I want to give you some specific times and locations where you can be really effective dragging a flapping hog. But first let's talk about why I think this bait is so effective. The flapping hog imitates the two predominant forage species that big bass target, and that's crawfish and bluegill. Now bass are predators and they'll feed on most anything that swims, but they're really drawn to that bulky profile that the flapping hog represents. Okay, so let's talk times and locations for dragging a flapping hog. Now you can catch fish on a Carolina rig year round, but one of my favorite times of year to do this is going to be late spring to early summer. So in Texas, that's going to be April through early June. And the places that you want to look for are going to be shallow, broad, kind of nondescript points that initially will be in the backs of the creek, but as you get towards summer, you're going to progress towards the main lake. Now these shallow points are really high traffic areas because you have a lot of big bass moving up to spawn late, you have post spawners moving off the bank, but you also have the establishment of brim beds in these same areas, and that's what makes a flapping hog such a great choice. Okay, so the key zone to focus in on is going to be that three to eight foot depth. So for that reason, I like a half ounce to three quarter ounce slip sinker and about a three foot leader. I also think it's important to maintain a fairly fast retrieve, so I'll point my rod tip at the water and just maintain a steady retrieve with my reel handle, obviously maintaining uh, contact with the bottom. Now the cool thing about this technique is it's not for ones and twos, it's for groups of fish. So cover a lot of water, study a good topo map, hit a lot of points, because when you find them, you'll usually find them in bunches. 